while I'm waiting for parts for my projects, uh, I thought I'd uh, just uh, design some rims for my T cab. It's gonna be a 6x6, so I need some new front rims. And uh, I think I'm going to uh, go uh, with the wide ones. So I got these wide front rims for bearings, but I need to make some um, for the 12 millimeter hex. So I'll use this to get uh, the measurements and then I'll use uh, Fusion 360 to do the designing. As a disclaimer, uh, this is not the way uh, to design anything in Fusion, but this is uh, the way I do it. So we start off uh, by uh, creating a sketch. Well, let's do some uh, measurements. So they are uh, 47 millimeters in diameter and the width. No, it, shouldn't. it should be 25. So I'll just uh, start with the box to get the outlines. 47 divided by 2 should be 23 and a half. And the width was... So this is the radius and this is the width. And then we need to uh, create this. The lip here is uh, one and a half mil. And we'll do them uh, three millimeters. And the same from, uh, from the outer lip. millimeters wide. The hex should be recessed by, I think inside should be six millimeters. Draw something for start. Uh, something like this, I think. Six millimeter, six millimeter thick. Oh, I love this camera. Me, X, me, X, me, X. <laughs> If you find this uh, sort of interesting, um, please consider subscribing and uh, giving this uh, video a thumbs up. I sure would appreciate it. Give it some thickness. The hex is uh, six mil. That's there, and then we need uh, some material. Let's say let's do it three millimeters. And then I'll just do some kind of a shape. this over here let's make this uh, a 360 rim and then we go to revolve select the profile and then we select the axis it should be this one and then we got an ugly rim A 
very ugly room. So I guess that's it for uh, part one. Uh, part two will be up in a few days and uh, we'll uh, probably edit something, add some holes and uh, finish it up. Stay tuned for more uh, fusion action. Thanks for watching.